We got a rainy day up here in Saugerties, but that's not gonna stop us. Uh, slow us down, maybe. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> you know he's gonna uh, voice over it if you don't anyway. Yeah. Ready? Fine. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like a little bird. That right there is a thumbnail. Yeah. yeah I hey everybody, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Welcome back to part three here in Socrates, New York of this European style swimming pond. If you haven't seen the first two parts, check out the link right here. See how we got to this point so far. We are using a milled limestone block. These come out of Missouri. Those are all cut to 12 inches high uniformly so that we can get this real clean formal look in the pond. Over on this side, we're framing out where there's gonna be a waterfall from our constructive wetland filter. Right about where that machine's sitting, we're doing a 15 by 25 constructive wetland, which is gonna keep this pond nice and clean. We broke things up in the middle here with the transition. We got four feet deep over there, seven feet here. We use some native limestone boulders to do that. We wanna mix in some of the natural feel with this formal block. Right now I got Jason over here. He's cutting in some of our lights right into the wall. That's gonna be a super clean look, just like that. We're gonna have probably about eight to 10 lights inside the pond, illuminating all these areas. This will all get capped off with a nice cut blue stone, giving it a super clean look on top. Coming off this whole backside of the pond, it's gonna be a negative edge waterfall. So water's gonna be coming from the pond and dropping down a series of big boulder cascades into a big reservoir. And this is what we're gonna focus on today. We need about 4,000 gallons of water storage capacity down here. That's accounting for all the water that's gonna be in motion. So basically when we fire these pumps up, they're gonna fill up that wetland fill up the top of the pond. In order for it to get over this waterfall, it's gonna have to raise up a couple inches. So all that water is water in motion. And when we shut this off, all that water has to be able to go somewhere. So the capacity of this reservoir has to be at least two times the amount of water we have in motion. We're gonna have about 1,800 gallons, so 4,000 will more than do it. I'm gonna lay out this reservoir here for our footprint for the aqua blocks and the liner. Start excavation and get today rolling. Just finished up a nice lunch and now it's time to build a reservoir. We got our excavation all prepped up. We got a layer of sand in there for protection from any kind of rocks and stuff that might be in the bottom of the hole. Here is all of our large aqua blocks. They're gonna be going in that hole. We got a depression here that's been dug out for our pump vaults. We got two pump vaults. Those will be feeding our two external pumps. We've got two EXT 18,000 pumps that are gonna be running this whole system. We're at the point now where we can go ahead and put our underlayment in. That's gonna cover the entire excavation, the whole bottom, up the sides, everything. We've got rock pad that we're using, that really thick stuff that we use inside the pond. Then we're gonna put our liner in, followed by another layer of underlayment, just for a double layer of protection. Then we go ahead and install our pump vaults and get those aqua blocks in our excavation. All right, so we've got a reservoir installed. We actually put a layer of these cobbles on top. This is gonna get about a foot and a half of gravel in it. This way, when it falls off that waterfall, going into there, it's gonna pass through that gravel. Just an added layer of filtration. And we'll actually close it all in with boulder work, 
kind of making it a lot smaller looking than what it is now. Eventually there's going to be a fire pit patio down here, some stairs that lead up on either side of it, but that's gonna be for the future when the homeowner gets to that. But now we are ready to start setting boulders and that's what we're doing first thing tomorrow. See you then. We are starting out with another beautiful day here in upstate New York. Watch how that jinxes me. Just watch and see what happens. We got another delivery of Riverstone this morning. That's gonna go on top of the cobbles we've already put in our reservoir. We'll put about a foot of that gravel on top of all this. So essentially what's gonna happen, the waterfall is gonna come down and it'll have to infiltrate through all that gravel before it gets to the reservoir. Just adding another layer of filtration. We'll go ahead and get that in first thing this morning. Then we're gonna start picking our boulders to build this waterfall. We've gotta retain all this soil up on the backside. You've got a six foot elevation change from here up to where it meets the level of the pond. In that space, we're gonna be creating multiple cascading waterfalls. I wanna see a lot of back and forth, maybe even some splitting around boulders. We've got an opportunity to do something really cool down here, and I can't wait to get started. Remember a day or two ago when I said what a nice day it was and how that's gonna jinx me? Well, that happened. We got a rainy day up here in Saugerties, but that's not gonna stop us. Well, slow us down, maybe. We got a waterfall that's gonna be spilling off of this rock here. We're looking to probably catch some of this guy right here too, get it kind of going out in front. And then on the right side, we've got another set of waterfalls coming through here. We just choke these two down, and we're gonna let water come right through that crevice there fill up that pool and then feed that waterfall. Where the level is, right there, that's another set of waterfalls followed by one over here. So we're actually using this rock as a frame rock as well as a weir on this side. So that's gonna look awesome. Big cascading water there, pooling area dispersed over to these different sides here down to the bottom. Now we're at the point where we have to flank this right side, retaining all this soil. So we're gonna bring some rock work out here, probably even drop some big ones out in the landscape. Then we can go up to the final level, which is gonna be where it comes off the pool. This morning, I actually went out to the rock quarry to pick those specific stones that are gonna be coming off that pool level. We gotta be really super flat, because we wanna have that clean, negative edge look where you're looking at across the water and the water just kind of disappears, leaving the visual of all this beautiful landscape in the distance. Let's get our raincoats on and get to work. All right, while we're busy working on the waterfall, Jason is up here doing the top edge of the pond. So what we're doing is using a bluestone cap, almost like a coping, all the way around the pond. And what I'm doing here is I'm gonna cut a corner. Um, we're gonna do 245s, but what I'm gonna do, because this isn't like a floor in a house with a foundation that's totally square we're building a pond, is I'm gonna cut the top piece, we'll get it in, and then I'll lay it on top of the other one and then trace that to make sure we get a perfect 45. We're gonna cool. lay it, everything in a bed of mortar, get everything level and even. Square. Or thick. <laughs> well, that nice clean look up top with the bluestone coping, transitioning down to our natural waterfall and also over in the wetland side where we cut those boulders in. So it's gonna be a really interesting look, but I'm excited to see how it turns out.
we are at the end of the day here and I am really impressed with the amount of work that was accomplished today. We reached the top of the waterfall. This is where the pond will actually fall off into this whole waterfall system. That stone there is gonna be our weir rock. It's about nine feet long. That's gonna give us our nice clean infinity edge off this side of the pond. We actually set these rocks where that rock can sit right on top of these and carry the exact elevation that we need. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and backfill behind this with gravel so we can support that rock, set it in place, and get it all locked in. Alan and the guys got all those steppers set. So that's gonna be a seat rock there, seat rock there, and then we've got a seat rock there. Immense amount of cutting went into making those fit where they had to. Staircase is looking fantastic. Colby. Hello actually cut in our jet on this side. What a nice job he did with that. That is seamless. We're gonna have jets all over the place here, pushing water out this way, pushing water out this way, all towards where this negative edge waterfall is. I'm gonna carry the debris off the backside where it gets collected down at the bottom of the reservoir. I'm always blown away when I do collaboration projects like this with my friends. Alan runs an excellent business and it just meshes perfectly with what we do. We all come together and the work that we can turn out in such a small amount of time is just mind blowing. I can't imagine getting a job this size done in under three weeks with anybody else. So I'm, I'm fulfilled. I'm fulfilled doing stuff like this. And hopefully you're enjoying what's happening here. Like this is an out of the ordinary project for us. It's formal, mixed with natural. I think this is gonna turn out completely amazing. So come on back to the next video. We are gonna be working on getting this buttoned up to the point where we can actually get water in this pond. Hit that subscribe button. Of course, go visit Alan. Decker's Pondscapes, he's out of New York. Hit him up on YouTube, subscribe to his channel, watch what he's doing. He's one of my very, very best friends. And I love watching every single job that he creates. It's just incredible. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.